My name is Garrett, and I'm working on Strung by 3, a martial arts combat game where you use stealth and strategy to explore and eliminate. This week, I added a basic system for signaling how loud the player is by making a ring around the player that gets bigger the louder you are. If you are still, you make no noise, a bit if you're walking, and a lot if you're running, at least for now. In the future, I'll luckily just make it a shader or maybe just not show it at all, but it will affect how enemies interact with you. Of course, I was doing more shader graph stuff this week, including some tests with vertex displacement, which Rob recommended I look at. I messed around with the rocks, giving them this really cool shatter effect, switched up the skybox to include a day and night cycle, and also tested it mainly on a plane to create these clouds. Speaking of clouds, I've been following along with this cloud shader graph tutorial because eventually I like to create nebulas, which are essentially colorful space clouds. And I accidentally imported some product settings from the 3D game kit asset last week and decided to import everything into a fresh new product without these settings. It was definitely my fault, but at least I got to clear out some old assets in my product and organize things a little bit better. What I learned is that I'm going to assume that assets will break things. Thankfully, the 3D game kit didn't ruin my product, but I made the mistake of assuming that it couldn't. The product settings it originally changed were probably okay, but I'd at least like to know what changed and not just follow it blindly. I'm still getting used to using Unity Collab as a sort of version control, but I'm trying to use it more and ensure that if I end up needing to revert, I don't lose too much progress, if any, at all. I also learned that I still love Shader Graph. I know I'm beating a dead horse at this point, but the more I use it, the better it gets. And I'm still learning B-Twist. I'm not completely there yet, but I am much closer. I had the twisting and thankfully a landing, but I want to get a little bit more horizontal and I think I need to kick up a little bit higher to achieve that. Although it's a bit hard on my back, this will probably be one of my new favorite moves once I get it. And I've been thinking a lot about the art style and inspiration. I'm taking a lot of gameplay influence from Assassin's Creed, but for the art, I'm mainly inspired by Mirror's Edge and nebulas. Specifically, the Dormammu scene from Doctor Strange is one of my favorite scenes visually, and I want to create this sort of cross between a utopian cyberpunk looking environment and these futuristic space looking environments. We will see how this translates into the nature parts of the world, but there will be a city in the game that will take a lot of inspiration from Glass in Mirror's Edge Catalyst, and the surrounding world will be inspired by the Dormammu environment with colorful nebulas and rocks. Thank you for watching, I love all you guys, and if you need anything at all, reach out to me through Discord, it's not a bother, and I'd always be happy to talk. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next devlog for some more fun.